I will not accept that the government can't come up with a solution. Lachine Hospital in Montreal's southwestern area is partially closing. As of November 7th, its emergency rooms will only be open from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Shut the remaining 16 hours daily. Ambulances will be routed to other hospitals outside of those hours, and the hospital's intensive care unit will also be closed. Experts say the absence of workers have been weighing heavy on the health care system, and this closure will particularly affect community members in the area without the means to travel downtown Montreal for care. Definitely the people who are, who are poor, who are older, uh, who don't have cars uh, and, and uh, will, will be forced to, uh, uh, you know, uh, probably stay at home. The president of the Council of Physicians at Lachine Hospital says the move is unreasonable and dangerous. People's lives could be at risk as a result. As they come in through the door at four o'clock with a heart attack, we'll sort of pack them up and ship them to another center. Is totally unacceptable because we know when people are critically ill, they need to be treated uh, quickly and 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 uh, rapidly uh, and with full with with medications. I don't want to see a, a bad outcome for any patient, for anybody's family member. He's calling on the Quebec government and the McGill University Health Center in charge of the hospital to act to maintain essential services. In a statement to City News, the MUHC says the Lachine Hospital, which has already suffered from a precarious workforce for several years, is now facing a critical shortage of nurses and respiratory therapists. Patient safety is our priority. In order to maintain it, we have to put in place a contingency plan that includes the partial and temporary closure of the Lachine Hospital emergency. Emergency room, but say they will maintain elective activity in the operating room, capacity for hospitalization in medicine and surgery, and all services to the CHSLD Camille Lefebvre residents. The MUHC also wants to assure staff and patients that the situation is temporary and are working to correct it. Dr. Saba insists there needs to be alternative measures put in place in order to keep emergency rooms and ICU units open at all hours. Closing is not a viable option. And they say there are no inhalation therapists, respiratory therapists. I have, there are doctors in our emergency room who are willing to do a rapid tr training, kind of, a, uh, kind of like medic training in the Army uh, to come and help uh, for, in, in terms of respiratory. Many of these can intubate. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.